Welcome to the Hampton Beach Village District Monthly Meeting. It is April 12, 2017. Can we all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have kind of a short meeting today, so... I see some students here from Winnicott kind of High School. They're in the Foundations of Democracy class, Miss Bergeron's class. Is that right? So we have Connor Murray, Brandon Wilbur, Michael Lamprey, and uh, Anthony Rage. We're welcome to our monthly meeting. And if you have any questions, please ask. Hi, question. Is there an agenda available? They're right there at the front. Probably not. I usually don't want you can have mine. Oh, did I get one? It's a non-rage. Michael Lansley, Anthony Rage, and who is it? Anna Murray and Brandon Wilbur. They already came back? Yeah. That's terrible. Oh, he's still doing it. Anna Murray and Brandon Wilbur. Oh, he got some more. Okay. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, Kathy so How many do you need? Do you need? The TV. You all set? <laughs> so we're going to, Kathy Silver is going to talk. Will you, will you let me? I'm talking to him. Could you guys? Is there no order here? Did you guys yeah, it was bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do that. So to my far left, your right, is Joan Rice, who is our, um, Secretary, Lovely. Commissioner Maureen Buckley, to my far right, your left, is Treasurer Stephen LeBranch, and Commissioner Bob Ladd, and I'm Chuck Rage, Chairman. Okay. Do they take a motion right now? Um, okay. well, let's let Kathy go and then okay. we'll do it okay. for a new business. That's fine. I mean, we always know what meeting you're going to show up. Jimmy. <laughs> 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 oh, I thought that was yours. Jimmy. Okay. We're ready. We're ready. All right. Um, I'm Kathy Silver from the Blue Ocean Discovery Center. And first of all, I'd like to thank all the voters in the Village District for their continued support of the uh, Blue Ocean Society. <laughs> We greatly appreciate your help. And we, we really need it and we appreciate it. So thank you again. Um, we have a very busy month of June coming up. Um, the first thing, the first Saturday of June, June 3rd, we have a 5K road race. And this race will be our second annual race. And we learned a lot last year. One of the things we learned Okay. Hear this? Okay. No. I can hear okay. One of the things we learned was that we need a lot more volunteers than we had last year. Okay. We need well, guys here maybe that could help. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we need volunteers to line the entire route so that they can not only cheer on the runners but help them find the way. So if there's anybody out there who would like to volunteer, this is just the morning of Saturday, June 3rd. Okay, and it, it's just the morning. And it's very, I'm surprised last year just how very fun and the atmosphere is with this race. Um, all you really need to do is show up that day. If you'd like to make it official, you could um, go on our website, blueoceansociety.org, and sign up to be a volunteer. But we really do need a lot of volunteers. We also would appreciate it if any businesses out there would like to donate gift cards because we give away prizes for this. And we need things like sliced oranges for the runners. So that's, again, Saturday the 3rd. Um, we will be opening for the season um, again in June, right around when school gets out. We've found in the past it really doesn't help us to open before school is out. So when school is out, we're open. Um, and again, on Saturday, June 24th, we have another big event. 
Okay, this we are hosting the Aquarian Environmental Awards, and there'll be a big presentation on the stage, and then in the Discovery Center, the Aquarian Company um, basically uses our venue, and it's um, quite a little celebration for their awards. So that's the month of June, okay, so, and as I say, we've got you know, the two big Saturdays there. Okay, so that's it. All right, great. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, Kathy, we, does does an aquarium offer scholarship oh, as do. part of that? Okay, they do. Yes. Could you explain that just a little bit? Uh, sure. In fact, I just got all the paperwork about it today. Um, there are several awards, and there's an award. If I get this right now, for the the best environmental company, the best um, individual adult, and then a student, and the student gets a thousand dollar scholarship. Right. So uh, you need to thank John Kane and a bunch of volunteers that went down. Absolutely, and, uh, and I meant to do that. I'm sorry. They were uh, picking up the mess that was left yes. on the beach yesterday. Um, <clears throat> when we heard the weather forecast earlier in the week, we were very concerned. I mean, when there's a really nice day early in the year, we all know what's going to happen. Okay, all the kids are going to arrive here. And there's going to be a huge mess. And I told my students and that, you know, if they wanted to get down here and do a beach cleanup, now is the time. And I know that John Kane, you know, went out today and picked up, how much would you say? A lot. Four right? 50 gallon buckets. Four 50 gallon buckets of trash. And it's really sad. It was. It was kids. Oh, we know. We know. Yeah, and we appreciate that. Everybody appreciates that. Everybody who lives at the beach and uses the beach and you know, cares about the environment. Kathy, are the barrels out now? No, they'll be out Is next week. Is that the week. problem? There are no barrels? Huh? There were barrels. I think they there are. Barrels on the state side, but not on our side. I think not they are. Side. No, at all. There was some on the, the state yeah, side barrels were there? Yes, and again, with this weather forecast, we contacted the state and said, do you plan to use the beach rake? Because there certainly will be a need for it. And they said, no, they weren't ready yet. So the beach wasn't and can't be raked yet. So that sort of compounds the whole problem. Yeah, I think they they have a contract. They do. Yeah. And it doesn't go into that's effect right. for a couple more. And that's what got me or otherwise worth all I know, I know, because we checked. Yeah. Well, I know that I talked to the town and the barrels are going out next week. Yeah. Uh, so they'll be ahead of the Mass Vacation Week and the Hampshire Vacation right. Week. Uh, and and that's that's great. Uh, myself, Sea Catch, Boardwalk, we all put our blue barrels out just to catch some of the yeah. stuff. Uh, and that block stayed pretty clean, and it was pretty busy, so it was good. It's um. Was, was the trash? Excuse me, Kathy. Was the trash that you picked up? Was it on the town side or on the other side? I would say ninety percent of the the trash that I picked up was um, brought in from outside of up here. I mean, it was No, I meant when oh, you picked it up. Was it which no, it was side? All was on the beach. Oh. All on the beach. On the state side. State side. Yeah, it's just. You know, a big yeah. round area with, you know, red solo cups, bottle of vodka, and, you know, mixers and beers and Budweiser's and, for, and Corona glass bottles. So, 80 so. degree day in April, and we have people getting drunk on the beach with no enforcement. There, there, there were, can I? I don't want that to go. We did have some police. There was a lot of police. Yeah, we had our police. Yeah. yeah. I think they, they had state. Uh, they had so stadies there too. Yeah. yeah. So much. There was stadies around, and uh, there was some. But the Hampton police were there. <laughs> yes, but the Hampton police. And there was no. But there was. I don't think there was any major incidents or anything like that. It looked. It was pretty good. Uh, Chuck, I got on the phone right in front of your house, and there was a girl. The girl fight with twenty of them. Going down. Oh, God. Oh, gee. Really? Uh, that's just telling you. Well, we definitely had a... Uh, the thing is, it, it's just so predictable now. You yeah. know when there's a warm day. The first warm it's day. Great. Yeah. You yeah. know it's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> it just pops up. We, we can't Thank do you, it. everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, we need to um, figure out the board for this year. Yes, I'd like to make a motion, if I may. Okay. For Chuck Rage to be the chairman once again. Do I have a second, Mr. Rage? I would move to amend it for life. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, I, no, but I, don't I don't know if it'll fly. I don't think you can do that. So. All right. <laughs> Just I'll, for the next three years, then. I'll second it. Okay, all in favor? Yes. Of course we are. All in favor. Thank you. I would
would like to make a motion for a who, who was the vice chair last time? Are you? Are you? Hey. So I would like to make a motion for uh, Bob Lab to be vice chair. I like second. it. I'll go along with that. Do I have, your, second do I have your permission, Mark? You have everything. Go ahead. All in favor? Opposed? Abstain. All right. That was easy. All I'd right. like to make a motion that all three commissioners be approved to represent the village district before the budget committee this year. I'll second. All in favor? Your name is. Wow. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, do we have any old business, Maureen? I don't think so. <clears throat> Bob. No, no. Other than thanking the voters for approving the budget, uh, we did have a successful meeting. I do want to. Um, I had talked to Chief Sawyer about. Um, he was. At one point, we talked about him coming to the April meeting. He had other commitments, so he will be here for the May meeting. We're also going to have uh, Greg Grady come and talk about the sand sculpture for next month's meeting as well. That's coming really quick, so that'll be next month's meeting. All right, any new business, Bob? Oh, just a, a couple of things. We had mentioned before that I'd like to have Gwen and John kind of bring their job descriptions kind of up to date just so we have that on file and John I'm wondering if you could in May give us a sense of whether you can produce that uh, video YouTube contest oh that, that's we're, we're doing that yeah. that's, that's happening okay. well, we, we got two promotional things one is the YouTube and the other one that we're pushing is I love Hampton Beach with waves and then we love Hampton Beach with waves so we can get families to take a picture of where wherever they might be you know standing in front of the fish in the water in a little you know around a sandcastle on someone's porch like you know checks where the whole family is there and just produce those and get those up there what we find is when we push out pictures with people on them you know then they like to share and the more they share the more the hits we get so uh, yeah, we'll be, we are absolutely doing both of those. That's, that's very active for us. So. In fact, we had a young kid from Manchester come down yesterday uh, to shoot some video to just get it up and go and see what he can do and what he can't do. And my other thought about new business is whether we should have some discussion about the timing of the annual meeting. By law, it can be between January and May, and as March as it has been the time that it should be, or should any thought to be given to changing to a different day? I have no opinion on just opening it up. You mean later? January and May? Are you referring to later in the season? Yeah, I was but thinking. more people are available? Yeah, yeah. Are we excluding the snowbirds? elections and ask for um, an absentee ballot and this year we had two, two, two. Yeah. Um, so that apparently isn't working as the only problem with having it early uh, having it later is when we have budgets to, to get through whether it's the fireworks or whether it's um, the entertainment they need to do a lot of their contracts as well as sand sculpture and stuff like that they need to get a lot of that done so if the budget changes they might not be able to have the time so I, I don't I think if we bring it too far forward we're already in season and they won't know what to spend well that would certainly be a consideration yeah I, I would say I'm sure Glenn's committed but I I have to commit to NEC NWBZ WMUR already mm -hmm. we're already doing scripts for them so I I, I need to know if I have the money. Yeah. That would be my only hesitation. One solution to that could be one budget for 15 months to kind of overlap for a year to cover. Mm -hmm. you know, there, I mean, I'm not saying do yeah. it. I'm just saying yeah. have a little discussion about it. Mm -hmm. I think one of the things, too, that, that I, I was concerned about at this particular um, uh, March meeting was um, the lack of attendance. And I understand that there was no... 
basically there was no big issue and uh, like the parking lot previous couple of years but um, I think it's time maybe it might be a wise thing to do some canvassing of all of these new condos where people are living year round and talk about the precinct and see if we can't get people to, to become involved you know I, I, I've been hoping for that and, and I don't know um, maybe Stephen can when I walk the boulevard I don't see a lot of lights on in those places yeah. you Stephen we really I don't know. You can have a you can have a con one of the big buildings, uh, the Green and Company buildings, for instance. Drive by them at Christmas time, all right? And you might see four lights on in the entire building. Yeah, but that's a little different, Stephen, don't you think? Because people might go away at Christmas time. You well, know, what's I, it I, like? It's, it's, I mean, I'm I, just using that as an example. Using, uh, I, I walk it. Drive by there time. at night, and there's do you only see one or two or three, four in a big building? All the lights are off. And, and I still think it would be worth it to somehow. Even if it wasn't in the condos, um, canvas these people and find out who is there year-round that doesn't even know that the precinct exists. Well, we could do a, a mailing or yeah. something. Or... Precinct exemption sheets that you just mm -hmm. that would have been a good way to pick up a lot of people who are requesting the exemption to get the data mm -hmm. that you might need. <coughs> I, I think you would, I would. That's great. I, I, I mean, is. Um, all those new condos. I know they have, you know, condo meetings. Mm -hmm. and right. I've heard about it. And right. at some of these condo meetings, mm. I know Bobby Preston was an advocate for saying, hey, um, you know, do you like the fireworks? Yeah. Do you like the sandcastles? Yeah. Do you like this? Yeah. So why are you signing an exemption? Why don't you help out paying? Oh, well, we like it, but we don't want to pay. So this has been brought up at those meetings. Mm -hmm about the exemption and stuff like that. I would be afraid of what they could do without paying. And, yeah. and what we saw, a bunch of people who have one certain idea coming from one certain spot, right. they could blow our whole meeting to pieces. You know what? I, I know. But I, I, I still think that, that to have um, 44 or 5 people at, at a meeting. Oh, I, think I guess I there, think was, that's there was quite a few people that actually showed up the following week because they didn't see that that we had changed the meeting. So there was... Oh, oh okay, was so there was a, a problem with that. Because I was wondering where many of these people were that I see every There's time. There's regulars that, that... Okay. And they read the paper, and one of the persons was the person I talked to was a little embarrassed. Okay. Because I read the paper front to back, and I didn't even notice right. it. Just, well, that website. could have been. It was a different. But the year before, we didn't exactly have a huge turnout either. No, but the year before that, we had a couple hundred people, I know. So. That's because it was a big issue. Big but issue. I think we should have them whether there is or not. Right. Well, maybe we should have a big issue. <laughs> I don't want a big issue. <laughs> Create a problem. You know, uh, buy another parking lot. All right. Any other new business? Okay, let's approve minutes from March 8th's meeting. Do I have a motion to accept the minutes as, as posted? Uh, I move to accept the minutes as presented. Presented, sorry. I'll second. All in favor? Unanimous. March 24th meeting, 2017. Do we have a motion to? I move, move to accept these minutes as presented. Do have a second? I'll second. All in favor? Okay. Public comment. Anybody from the public want to speak? Gentlemen? Yes. Well, we should get up at the podium. You have to come speak. up to the podium and it's very important in. that you get right up there. Okay. Come up and introduce yourself to people at home. Where you live. No. <laughs> um, so my name's Anthony Rage. My technical residence is not in the village district, but I sometimes hang out there. Uh, um, I just want to know. Does the public have a way of finding out what will be discussed at this meeting? Do you have a website? We have a website, but we post the meeting um, downstairs at the, in, in the, in the uh, fire station windows, and we post it uptown at the uh, town office. Okay, thanks. It has to be, you might want to add, legally it has to be done so many hours. Yeah, so, yeah, it has to be done 24 hours in advance. Thanks. Is that it? Anyone else? John always has quick questions. Yeah, quick one. 
John Kang, uh, 115 Ocean Boulevard. I would just like to take the time to thank uh, the Town of Hampton Parks and Rec, Diana Martin, Renee, uh, I forget the police officer's name that's always there, and, um, and all the police department, because there, there were a few of them there, um, put, for putting on the Easter egg hunt. We had 12,000 eggs, uh, and I don't know, I've got to be 3,000 plus kids. Ran smooth as silk. Everyone had fun. The kids were just, you know, smiling. The parents, you know, were funny. Uh, I won't mention anyone's name, but I had to tap one parent on the shoulder and said, they're only this deep. They had a shovel. I said, they're not in China. And I went over and moved my foot and, you know, found three of them. And then they were all excited because the little girl found them. But it was, it was funny. It was a town person that we all know. And, and it was great. But it was, that event is great. We don't advertise it at all, except for the kiosks, because we don't, you know, there's just so many people that are coming to the event as it is now. Yeah. They don't want to promote it anymore. But, you know, again, that's one thing of living in Hampton hey, Beach. It? That was uh, last Saturday. So, you know, that's one of the great things of living in Hampton, Hampton Beach, and on the coast. Thank you very much. Anyone else? I just want to mention, yeah, I want to mention something. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow um, afternoon, um, Mr. French and I will be uh, attending the high school for the, the prom committee um, with Miss Borden. Mrs. Borden, I don't know which one. We don't even know who the woman is. Anyway, she is... Um, she has kindly invited us to come to talk about um, the prom, the junior prom promenade on the on the, uh, on the stage. So we will be meeting with her tomorrow on the prom committee, I assume. Okay, great. Okay. Closing comments. Bob? Well, the season's about to begin. And I hope not the people in this room, but the people in the district and the people at the beach appreciate that all the fun things that will happen between now and Seafood Weekend, with the exception of Seafood Weekend, are pretty much driven by the Village District. And I would suspect that not many people are aware of that. And the only time you probably hear from them is if you took these things away. Then there'd be a kind of a backlash. But it is a shame, because uh, it's all free. And if you, you go up to that shell, that really is a perfect expression of government at its best. It's not political, it's entertainment, and it's giving families an opportunity to kind of enjoy the moment, and you see incredible emotional satisfaction in the faces of the parents, and the young children seeing for the first time in their lives a firework after dark, or a movie on the beach, or a concert in the shell. It's just a, a remarkably wholesome thing, and uh, I hope that the district is able to continue for another hundred years doing these sorts of things. And on that note, yeah. I would like to add that I, I, I would like to invite the people of Hampton, people who live uptown, please come down and bring your children to the Children's Week. Please come down and, and uh, hear the bands and, and uh, come to the Hampton Talent Competition. It's for you as well, and we'd like to see more residents come down. Okay. On that note, I want to wish everybody a happy Easter, a holy Passover, and adjourn the meeting at, anybody have a watch on? 5 or 6. Okay. 5.55.